On this week's episode, we'll discuss the annual 2022 challenge. And John Foley's letter to members and 2021 year in review and much, much more. Welcome to Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. Here are your hosts, Amanda Siegel and John Pruitt. Welcome to episode 64 of Pelo Buddy TV, a show for the Peloton community by the Peloton community. I'm John Pruitt, joined as always by my co-host, Amanda Siegel. Hey, Amanda. Hey, John. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Crazy. It's been a while. Three weeks. Hey, I know. I know. It, it kind of flew by. And um, I'm not sure if you got, but I certainly got a couple of people messaging me saying, when are you guys coming back on? When are you guys coming back on? So um, I think we were missed. <laughs> I think that our show was missed, John. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's kind of nice to, uh, to know that we were, we were wanted, right? That um, folks yeah. were wanted. So how was, your holi- how was your holiday? You have a good holiday? Yeah, it was nice. Um, you know, with my in-laws here in Michigan, I was supposed to go back to um, New York, New Jersey over New Year's. Uh, but the concerts that I was supposed to go to Madison Square Garden got, you know, postponed Aww. until April because of Omicron, Omicron. So I just figured I would, you know, reschedule the visit with my mom uh, for when things settle down over there. So I'll you know, hopefully be back in April. But other nice. than that, it was nice. Nice. Uh, it's getting freezing, pretty frigid here. 20 degrees in Michigan today. Frigid. So winter I mean, is, is in full yeah, effect. Maryland too. Maryland too. We got our first snow dumping. I mean, it was crazy. On Sunday, it was 62 degrees. And I literally ran outside in a tank top for an hour and a half. On Monday morning, I woke up and we had four inches of snow. Yeah. Uh, I mean, talk about split That's the one thing we've been lucky so far. Yeah, we haven't really had any snow. Really? Really? I mean, there's a little bit on the ground now from maybe like a half an inch that dropped a few days ago, but really there hasn't, you know, we haven't really done much shoveling of, yeah. to, that no, adds up had- to anything, so... We had a full-on dumping, and they, um, yeah, so Friday, too, more snow, and um, it, crazy. I mean, I, I'm just, well, the good news is I'm Florida-bound, so um, I will be having some warm weather. Nicole goes back for her second semester, and um, uh, I will be down in Florida for the next two weeks. So, um, so yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to some warm weather. Sand. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not going to complain, but um, it's good. It's good to be back. It's good to be back on the platform. Um, for those of you that are interested, I still do not have a tread. I am inching there slowly, but surely I'm hoping that within the next um, episode or two, we'll have an update, but it has been hell to say the least. So um mm. Peloton's customer service is a little much to be desired these days, <laughs> but we're getting there. We're getting there. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back on the tread, but yeah, keeping busy and um, looking forward to an exciting year ahead. It was certainly a busy year last year, which we'll talk about um, in a minute. But um, folks, yeah, and as all we the always... instructors are, seem to all be back from vacation. So the schedule yeah. is back in the normal the normal swing of things. And I, I'm also very excited. I want to point out my new piece of uh, wall art. Very right, right nice. Here, my, very, my John oh, Mayer. very sexy. Look at that. <laughs> my my Look favorite that. album of 2021, Sabra. And I'm even wearing my John Mayer t-shirt that it, that took three months to get. Finally Look received you. that. So yeah, yeah repping, wow, repping my boy. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's there. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's um, she definitely and Jen, Jen actually spoke about that recently, didn't she? She spoke about something about her sub rock, or maybe you posted something. I saw you had put something on she, your. Um, she threw on uh, a song from the album uh, on her recent new tracks uh, ride. Got it. Yeah, that was fun. 
Got yeah. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, go guys, before we get started with the news, we do always like to remind you um, how you can keep up to date with all of our content across all of our platform. Every episode is released on our YouTube channel, so just hit the subscribe button on the bottom right-hand side of the video and hit the notify button so that you never miss an episode. And you can also listen to us in traditional podcast format. We're on all podcast platforms. Just search Pello Buddy TV, hit subscribe, click notifications so you never miss an episode. And if you like what you hear, we, we would love to read uh, your review. Um, give us feedback. If you have any suggestions for how we can improve the show, we always love to hear from the listeners and viewers. So let us know. Of course. And of course, we're on Facebook and Instagram by now. Hopefully you are all following. But if not, make sure that you search Pello Buddy and like follow us on those platforms for all of the latest news. And if you are new to the Peloton platform and you are new to PelloBuddy.com and to our podcast, welcome. And we're excited that you have um, joined our little family uh, of, um, gosh, I think we're over like 66,000 followers Chris has now. So it's pretty exciting, maybe almost 67,000. So um, it's fun. And we're here just to um, share all the latest news from the week before and uh, make sure you get all caught up on what's going on in the Peloton world. So I guess with that, John, let's get on with the show. Get on the show. First, let's do a rundown of the latest Pelo news. So jumping right into Peloton has uh, renewed their annual challenge for 2022, which um, measures your total active minutes across all modalities um, on the Peloton platform. Um, so you can view, join the challenge um, under the upcoming tab on the challenges page uh, on the Peloton app, on the biker tread, or on the traditional web browser on onepeloton.com. Um, and this is in its third year now that they Peloton's been doing this annual challenge, which just measures your active minutes. Um, you can earn badges for your total minutes uh, between 1,000 and 20,000. Um, and there's a total of 13 tiers now, uh, plus 18, 20, 15, those different increments. Uh, they've increased, the company's increased the number of badges um, since its inception. So during the first year in 2020, Badges only went up to 5,000 minutes, later expanded to 10,000. Um, and then with the 2021 was launched, it included badges for up to 15,000. So obviously some members have gotten crazier and crazier increasing their, their active minutes, some crazier than me, but it's a sliding scale. So um, yeah, now we can get some, some bigger badges for those even bigger numbers that, uh, that folks are putting up with uh, the minutes they're they're putting out on the platform um and also got to give a, a a plug chris lewis is very proud of his peloton annual 2021 calculator so if you're trying to determine how many minutes you need to, uh, to work out to reach a certain tier in the challenge um, you can find that 2022 challenge uh, calculator right on pelobuddy.com um it's it, the link is conveniently located on the on the website there so you can calculate that and um yeah i can't I, I should just look for shits and giggles just to see what i'm currently you know at right now just out of curiosity for you know the, the few days that we're in january currently so just to but i i funny enough i did take a look and i'm just under a thousand minutes so i put oh, wow. in some, some serious I, I've put in some serious work the past few days. Um, that's six twenty-five, so that's pretty impressive. Yeah. yeah. So I think I'm. I don't think I'm much more than you. I think maybe seven twenty-five. I, I don't think I'm much more than you. Oh, okay. Um, but but yeah yeah. So um, I wouldn't be surprised, John, if that number increases um, as far as the badges go by the end, you know, middle to end of the year, because there were. I mean, we you know we certainly gave our shout outs to our faves. Who have been on the show and and they were way surpassed the twenty thousand. Yeah, Daisy so Mac and Nida. Yeah, yeah, um, and Texas, yes and yeah, yes or yes, and so there were a lot. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to increase that to you know fifty. I mean, there were a lot of folks that were over fifty thousand minutes, uh, you know, at the end of the year. So we'll be it'll be interesting to see where that goes. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, well, folks, at the end of 2021, we all got the end, the annual um, end of year uh, recap email that John Foley had sent out to members. Um, and the letter had begun with, an, and I quote, um, as we reach the end of 2021, I can't help but reflect on what a year it has been. For many of us, it was another year defined by uncertainty and stress, but there were also moments of hope and resilience. And while we continue to face challenging times, we here at Peloton are committed more than ever to providing you and your loved ones with a positive and supportive fitness and wellness experience, something we all need these days more than ever, which is so true. I mean, I don't know what I would do without my Peloton platform and having that release and that ability to work out. Um, so the email went on, John, um, to really highlight, um, you know, some of the um, accomplishments in 2021. And I'll throw out a recap of, um, of kind of what that is. Um, first and foremost, there were 19 new instructors that were launched on the platform, which I thought was wow. huge. 19 um, within the span of the, you know, span of, of the year. In the US, we saw um, Camilla Ramon, the first Spanish speaking cycling instructor, um, to strength instructors Rad Lopez and Kelly Gullickson, um, tread instructors um, Daniel McKenna, Kristen Ferguson, and Marcel Dinkins. Uh, for yoga, the first Spanish speaking instructor Marina Fernandez, as well as the first Australian instructor Kira Michelle. Um, for the German community, they got a German-speaking yoga instructor, Nika Sarani, and that was all coming out of the U.S. In the U.K., we saw the launch of Bradley Rose on the bike, um, as well as the launch of the four new tread coaches, John Husking, Justin thompson Rule, Susie Chan, and um, Jermaine Johnson, better known to everybody as JJ. Uh, the German community saw the launch of bike coaches Myla Lazar, Charlotte Wiedenbach, and Benny Adami. Uh, whilst on the tread, they got Marcel Maror, Tobias Hines, and Jeffrey McEarcheron. I'm sure I butchered that last name, and I apologize. <laughs> um, so that was... Um, yeah, all the new coaches, um, most of them I have, you know, not even attempted to try. Uh, but Peloton did put out a, a kind of a grid of everyone on there and kind of gave everybody a challenge for the year to see if they could do a workout with at least everybody. Um, and I think I'm going to take yeah. on that. I think that's something I, I, I've definitely decided I'm going to take on for the year and try and get, you know, a workout in with um, with everybody. Uh, season two of Dance Cardio was launched, um, and this was done featuring a collaboration with none other than Asha. Um, a second installment of Pilates was launched featuring an additional five new instructors who had not been included in the first season. And then we got to see Sundays with Love and the Jess King Experience both return for their third season. Alex Toussaint launched his Ride to Greatness series. And the much anticipated and highly requested modality of boxing finally came to the platform with the Get, Get Hooked Peloton Boxing Program, which was launched at the beginning of December. Um, we also saw the, saw the launch of numerous other features. So probably the most talked about was the pause for the bike. Um, but we also saw the launch of the Strive Score, which, as folks know, is a personal measure of how hard you're working in a particular workout uh, based on your heart rate, um, as well as sessions, which allows members to create group rides with friends and family um, of previous aired on-demand classes. And finally, stacks and scheduling uh, features were added, stacks allowing members to plan out their entire workout and move efficiently from one class to another, and scheduling, which allows members to add both live and on-demand classes to their own personal schedule. Um, 2021 also saw a multitude of new artist series. There were 37 to be exact. Uh, wow. Probably the most talked about, Beyonce, The Beatles, and of course, Taylor Swift being released on Christmas Day. 
Um, but John, we can't forget about the All for One music festival that was launched on July 4th weekend. And that featured 25 of the artists, series or artists, um, and classes were taught by 40 instructors. Um, we also saw this partnership of Spotify and the release of the curated um, playlists by the instructors. Um, Peloton also announced their new strength device called the Peloton Guide, um, along with a new Peloton heart rate monitor or heart rate band, I should say, um, which we anticipate seeing debuting um, this year. So, yeah, John, certainly a lot for members. Lot. And yeah. yet we still saw the stock plummet. Customer service disappointed. A bit of controversy and in there. Yeah. To be frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I think, and I think, but I think truthfully members being you know frustrated with no news of you know kind of a new trade plus being re-released um, I know that mm. so many people are waiting patiently or impatiently I should rather say um, for that I don't see it happening having had and these trade guys out here over the last few weeks back and forth um, just sharing some insider info the last guy that was here this past week said don't, don't, don't anticipate it. Mm. Um, because I said to him, should am I be silly? Should I wait? What should I do? Should I switch? We were kind of going back and forth. And he was like, he's been with the company since the Trade Plus was launched uh, three years ago. And he said he doesn't foresee uh, a new Trade Plus coming on. Now, again, that was the technician that came to, you know, to, to fix my, my trade. But um, yeah, so 2021 was a busy year on the platform for the Peloton community. But as you said, a lot of controversy everywhere else. So, um, so yeah. And Robin had her baby, <laughs> baby <laughs> Athena. <laughs> and Robin had, let me tell you, Robin had her baby and oh my word, have you seen her frigging abs? I mean, we'll talk about oh, it Robin, in a minute, yeah. but I mean, insane. So I, I say no more. You never would have guessed no that she, she had a child. <laughs> never, never. I mean, it was just, it was crazy. It was crazy. So yeah, so that's um, the year in review. Quite a year, I'm sure plenty, much more to come for 2022. Um, but uh, mentioning what you, uh, it's piggybacking off of the announcement of the Peloton Strength. So it seems like uh, the sleuths at Pelo Buddy have uncovered some content that is being prepared uh, for the upcoming launch of the, the Peloton Strength uh, device known as Peloton Guide. Um, it seems like they're preparing specific classes for that new device, which we're anticipating it's gonna be sometime in early 2022 that the Peloton has said. There's no uh, date uh, yet announced. Um, but it appears over the past couple of days, numerous classes have popped up in the on-demand strength library only just to, to disappear shortly after. Um, one of the classes was taught by Selena Samuela and another by Adrian Williams. And both of them had titles that have, we've never seen before described. Um, one said 30 minute floor boot camp 101, and another had uh, a label of 30 minute legs and core. And Selena's class also had, um, it was denoted by W1 slash D1, a designation at the end of the title, suggesting it would be for some sort of uh, program that Peloton would launch with the guide, meaning week one, day one. And Adrian's class had another uh, suffix SPLT-115, which um, seems like is probably just something internal that'll be removed once it actually goes live. Um, so, um, we think the formal launch of the guide is still months away. Um, like I said, the official Peloton page indicates release in early 2022, but um, right now we're thinking they still have another round of beta testing um, for the guide to work out more kinks. But um, you can always hand it to, to Chris Lewis and, and Pelo Buddy to find you know something that comes up or some change on the back end of the app or the website to, to catch that before I love it. before they find it, it and and yeah and take it down. <laughs> love it. <laughs> so That's yeah, awesome. lots of you know there's always they're always filming uh, content behind the scenes. So it doesn't surprise me that you know that that's all going on at. Uh, HQ in uh, New York and yeah, time will, you know, 
I'm sure we'll be seeing more soon. But um, this past week, we had a new German tread coach announced. Um, as you mentioned his name, I'm going to try to say it. Jeffrey McEkern? McEkern? Mc, That's probably McEaker. a hard one. Well, there's yeah. a space between the MC, the MC and the E, so Mc, McEckern. Um, I don't know why I sounded Irish uh, just now, but he was announced <laughs> just on, uh, while we were on break, on December 21st, actually, of last year. Um, but he already had his premiere run. It was on December 22nd. Um, before, you know, joining Peloton, uh, Jeffrey served as a talent recruiter for the Voice of German, which is the the German version of the American um, singing show, The Voice, um, as well as he was a fitness instructor. And then he made the career switch after running his first half marathon before his 30th uh, birthday. Um, But you can uh, read more about his background on Peloton's blog. Um, And he's the third German tread instructor now um, actively with Peloton. He joins uh, his teammates Tobias Heinz and Marcel Maurer, uh, the other two German uh, tread coaches. Earlier, um, last month, December, uh, the German tread team lost one of the instructors when Marina Andersen announced her departure. Uh, but she'd only been with Peloton just for, you know, her tenure was very brief, um, having joined the company or been announced um, at the end of September 2021. So, yeah, no, more new faces. Well, yeah, hard, I, hard to keep up with, hard to keep up with all no, of them, but, um, but no, now we and have I've, a goal, and I've we been have a goal doing, to try and get to them. And I do some of the German, um, it's easy to do uh, on the bike, at least for me, done a little bit on the tread, but after I, when I do a, a cool down, sometimes I'll do yeah. one of the German instructors cool downs, because sometimes they'll have subtitles, but then again, it's not that, I don't really need to right. understand for the cool, like half the time I'm just pedaling away and I'm on my phone, whatever, posting uh, about my too. workout, or, you know, preparing the story yeah. in Instagram. Yeah, 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 so yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good yeah, way to, so it's a good way to dive in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that it's an easy way to try, to yeah, to try out one of the new, uh, the new instructors. Yeah, yeah, that's good, good. Well, the year also ended, John, with the um, top uh, 50 countdown series that we'd seen um, the year before. Um, And that's, of course, a list of songs, which is a combination of the most loved songs by the members, those that are kind of clicking that little love sign, um, if they like a song that they hear being played, as well as the most played songs by instructor instructors and um, I wasn't surprised that Tiesto's The Business took the coveted number one spot. Um, it's I was actually surprised by that. I, really? I kind of, I, I just don't feel like I heard that. Well, maybe I'm just not into that song enough, but I don't feel like I heard that okay. song. Like I, I definitely remember Rain On Me by Lady Gaga the previous okay. year being played constantly and it's a great song, but I just don't really that Tiesto song. Like I, I know it exactly, but I just don't remember hearing it all the time on different. In different I guess classes. you got to work out with Ben. You got to work out with Ben a little bit more. I uh, mean, Ben. Must, I think Ben in, in himself probably played it the most out of everybody. Okay. <laughs> um, but he does. He plays it. He played it a ton in his rides. Um, but you know, I love it, and I'm very, I'm very in tune to it. So maybe that I did pick it up a little bit more. So yeah, yeah, I wasn't surprised, but yeah, I'm sure that there were people that probably were. So there were actually 15 classes that they ended up doing in total. Um, you know, they did a ride, they did rides, runs, and strength for each set of the top songs, um, and they were yep. all launched at the same time each day. So you kind of had to pick if you wanted to do a live class. You kind of had to pick whether you wanted to do your run, your ride, or your strength class because they were all released each day at at 12 o'clock Eastern time or 12.30, somewhere around there. Um, But if you haven't had a chance to to do those workouts, folks, you can certainly find the full list um, of classes on the Pelabari.com website. They're um, all there. Um, And they're fun. They're um, they're really fun. I think that a lot of the instructors kind of added their little bits about, you know, certain things that they had enjoyed. Well, it was fun. I did. I think I did all the top fifty rides. I know there was at least three or four of them, um, and they were all super fun because some of the tracks are not commonly played by that. Inst- like Cody had a couple tracks that he would never normally yeah. play, like Foo Fighters. Right. And yeah, in yeah, his yeah. ride, he even commented, "He goes, this, 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 this artist was played zero times by me in 2021." Um, but it was also fun when they said who the top instructor was or the, the you know, the, the two instructors that played it the most and how many times they had played it. 
Um, so that was just, that was a fun aspect of the class that normally they don't really discuss. Uh, yeah. But the, the rides were all fantastic um, that I did yeah. on them. No. So yeah. we have a, we have a new artist series. This one's a, this one's a little interesting. It's a little different. Um, it's the doors, the rock group, the doors, um, but it's two scenic classes. Um, so Peloton, uh, last Monday, they released the, the new artist series featuring the music of the doors. Um, and they went to say when the great outdoors meets the doors, magic happens. We've curated a special playlist for our Santa Monica scenic ride and run to celebrate the 50th anniversary of their timeless album, L.A. Woman. Immerse yourself in sunny SoCal and turn the volume up. Um, and it's just two classes. It's a 15-minute scenic ride and a 15-minute scenic run, both set in Santa Monica, California. Um, mm. So they're, they're not classes. They have, you know, a fresh playlist each of new music featuring the doors, but it's not, um, you know, it's not an instructor led class. Um, so you're just, you know, you're riding at your own riding or running to at the your view own. of Santa Monica. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, you'll right. still get an artist series badge. So for the badge lovers, um, if you take that, uh, but yeah. Um, and also one have thing to done, point out, have which, you done any, uh, either of them? No, but I did do a scenic hike. Um, I didn't do the, the door, either of the doors ones, but I did do, I finally did a scenic hike in Iceland with uh, Jess and... And Ben? Um, and Ben. Ben. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Just, I did awesome. it over um, the, the New Year's weekend, you know, when the, the, they were off. And I, it was kind of like a rest day. I just wanted to take it easy. Wasn't it um, fun? And it was fun. They, they yeah, were great it was fun. They Lighthearted banter here and there. Um, yeah, but just it. so uh, for any members, you can only access the scenic content, including these new, yes. um, these two new ones um, via the bike or the tread. So if you're, if you're an app member only, you won't be able to access it there. Um, so it just adds okay. up in case you're, you know, in case you're looking for it. Cause I know a lot of folks, um, we're a little bummed that, you know, like don't have the tread. They couldn't do the, the hike. The hike. Right. Yeah, I remember that. Um, so, I remember that. Oh, yeah. Good. Well, 2022 was also kickstarted with a new monthly strength deck. Um, and January features Robin Arzon. Interestingly enough, this is the first time that Robin has actually been featured as a strength instructor for, you know, for that month. Um, her stack includes um, 12 classes and suggests four active days per week with three days of rest or active recovery. So Robin's suggestion is actually to do three consecutive days of strength, um, followed by a day of rest and then a final strength day. So kind of do three, then you have your rest, do your fourth, and then have your rest, I guess, to start again. Um, and her goal really is to help members lay out the foundation for their 2022 strength classes. She wants folks to get excited about doing strength in 2022. Um, and, um, you know, was really excited herself. She had a fabulous uh, Instagram post and story on there about doing it. Um, she was hyped, really hyped to do it. So, um, so she does have that. And then kind of off record, um, Ben Aldis did come out with his new strength. And this is not Peloton official. This is just Ben Aldis official. But Ben did come up with his own um, strength challenge, not really a stack, but his strength challenge, strength and, and ride challenge for, um, for the month of January. And he, on his social media each day, gives you um, kind of what he's suggesting. So it's usually a ride a strength class and then a stretch. Um, so you either can complement it with, you know, with Robbins or do it, you know, independently. But you pretty much could complement it with Robbins. So kind of do Ben's rides or anybody's rides. It's really him just kind of giving you, he says this is what he's going to be doing, um, you know, moving forward um, in getting himself back, you know, back on track. So I um, thought I would just throw that out as well because a lot of pe people, you know, do like Ben's challenge um, and, and Ben's Peloton Army obviously help, you know, help um, push that as well. So, yeah. Well, in other strength news, uh, Peloton uh, just launched a new strength program called Total Strength 2 
featuring um, strength and tread, tread instructor Andy Spear, one of my favorites. Uh, the announcement was made via his Instagram. Um, Andy went on to say, Total Strength 2 builds on the strength training foundation you laid in Total Strength 1 on every level. Uh, you'll learn new moves, new training techniques, develop strength, power, and conditioning in this program. We use uh, complexes, circuits, AMRAPs, compound sets, and rest pause sets to name a few. Um, and this is a, a, the new program is a follow-up to his original strength program, Total Strength. And he breaks down the new program um, in a Peloton blog post explaining that um, you dial in proper form for the squat, deadlift, press, and row. And you'll also uh, feel the benefits of sticking to a structured, progressive approach to strength training. Uh, Total Strength 2 follows uh, suit, takes you training to a new level. Um, I'm so pumped to be your coach. It's a six-week program um, to build strength, add power, and conditioning elements to your training. And it contains 68 classes um, and calls for four active days per week for six weeks. Wow. That's awesome. A lot of, a lot of awesome. strength stuff coming. Strength. I, know, um, I know Emma had teased um, that she has a big announcement on Friday, which uh, we believe is because apparently Adrian Williams already spilled the beans in his core class that Emma's got, um, what, what is it called? Uh, core? Uh, uh, crush your core. Crush, crush your, your core. core. Yeah. So Emma, Emma had posted a, a cute TikTok, um, you know, where she's in the strength studio. And uh, yeah, it seems like that's, that's what it'll be. Why? Well, obviously, we'll know when this when this airs. But yes, I guess you're hearing awesome. it. Not quite. Fr not quite first, but <laughs> right. Because if you were in Adrian's <laughs> class, you heard it already. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So sorry, exactly. Emma. Adrian spilled the beans. <laughs> I, I love it. But yeah, a lot of, lot we'll, of... We'll, we'll know about that by the time this airs. So by the time this yeah, airs, we'll know, what it, we'll know exactly what it is. Lots yeah, going lots on. Lots of strength, strength stuff. Lots of, yeah, lots of stuff, yeah. good stuff to choose from in the strength category. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely upping my strength game this year, for sure. Um, so we'll see, we'll see where that goes. And then switching gears, the much anticipated um, Taylor Swift Artist Series was finally launched on Christmas Day um, with a total of nine classes to choose from. So rides, rides, nine? strength, yoga. Uh, nine, yeah. <laughs> strength, <laughs> yoga. <laughs> I did just see that. I mean, I'm going off a tangent here, but I did just see your um, your your um, post that you had on your on your IG with Jen Sherman, the nineties uh, Howard Stern, <laughs> nine, nine, uh, no, the nine, nine, <laughs> nine, and I'm like, oh, uh, John Pruitt, we can't get we can't we can't get rid of you anywhere. You're like everywhere. Um, we're everywhere. You're everywhere. Anyway, going back to Taylor Swift um, and her nine classes that were released. Um, so there were rides, run, strength, yoga, and a ten minute full body stretch with Ben Aldis where he literally played that one track um, which was a full 10 minutes. All too well. Um, yeah. That, all too well. Thank you. Song. I couldn't remember what the name was. I panicked there for a minute. I mean, it is yeah, a great song. Yeah, it's a song. really good song. Um, yeah, so with this series, members were challenged to actually take three classes um, in what they called the Swifty Challenge um, and it ran through this past Friday and earned a super Swifty badge um, you know, frustratingly, John, for tons of members, um, even though the series was launched on Christmas Day, the challenge only began on the 26th. Um, so yeah. any classes that were taken on Christmas Day on the 25th didn't count. Um, and you know what? I'm not quite sure why Peloton does that. Um, you know, it, it's definitely tons of rumbling on social media about that. But that was something that I'm, I'm not quite sure why. Um but I will say that I've loved that stretch with Ben and I happen to have done it um, numerous times. So um, I did end up doing, oh, nice. I did it, I'm doing um, the yoga. Was it, what did I do, the yoga? Yeah, it was yoga and the ride um, with, I guess, Robin. I think it was supposed to be an the ride Ali. The Robin. Yeah, it was supposed to be Ali Love. And I, I think it got switched. Yeah, didn't, um, didn't we hear that? Was it was it a German coach or someone mentioned Allie teaching the Taylor Swift ride in their class? But obviously, yeah, 
and then that was Robin, they, Robin that had was it. And it wasn't change. yoga, it was actually strength. I think that Robin did a strength because they were both Robin classes because I don't work out much with her. They were both Robin. Um, and she had done a, a strength class, which was tough, very tough, but it was good. Mm. It was it was good to um, to do. So yeah, so those were the three. Um, those were the three that um, w- that I had done. Um, the Taylor the Taylor Swift ride was great. I figured you were going to put that in your pick of the week, so I didn't I didn't make that one it, of mine. Oh no, no, was not. Oh, it was not. Okay, not a pick of the week. Not a pick of the week. All right. Yeah. <laughs> well. Um, uh, moving on. So uh, Chase, uh, the Chase partnership with Peloton has been extended. So for uh, Chase Sapphire credit card holders, uh, you now have a little more time to take advantage of the Chase and Peloton partnership. So uh, it was originally set to end at December 31st last year of 21. Um, it's a statement credit and bonus point opportunity um, that's been extended to the end of June 30th of this year. Um Peloton Chase initially partnered back in October of 2020, offering those with a Chase Sapphire credit card uh, statement credits toward their monthly uh, Peloton membership. Um, So Sapphire Reserve members could receive up to $120 in statement credits. Chase Sapphire Preferred members could receive up to $60. Um, The offer was open to new and existing members, Peloton members uh, with all access uh, memberships, those who have a bike and or tread, um, and Peloton app members. In order to receive the statement credit, your subscription had to be paid through the, the Chase credit card. Um, so uh, just one side note, it doesn't appear that the statement credits have reset. So if you've already received your full $120 or $60 in statement credits, you've already maxed out, you've already reached the limit of the offer. Um, even though it's been extended. So if you've okay. not used the full credit yet or you're a brand new um, card member, um, you know, have through the end of June to take advantage. Um, so that, that, that's awesome. I don't have either of those and, cards, um, but it's nice. Yeah, I have a Chase, but mine's through United. So I don't know if yeah. they complement each other. I have to go back and look because my Chase card is through United Airlines. I don't believe they do. So, um, yeah. Yeah, they don't. They don't. I'm getting from a control room. They don't. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Um, and then not to um, not to let um, folks know about the constant apparel drops because there was another one this past week. Um, it's killing me. I mean, seriously, killing me. <laughs> I, 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 oh my goodness. The only good news is that I did end up getting. I did end up getting four new. I, I ordered something. Cards. What did uh, What did you What did you get? So I got, you know what, I ended up buying a couple things on sale, um, truthfully, right oh. before. Um, there's still a ton of stuff on sale. So folks, if, you, if you're looking to get stuff cheap, um, jump on because there is still tons of stuff on sale. I have not bought anything from the new apparel drop that just, that just dropped this past week. What did you get, John? Okay. So I'm, I'm, lately I'm all about the hoodies because I really okay. love this um, from two Yeah, the vintage ago. one. What's it called? The heather, the vintage. just yeah. the material is so nice. Uh, so I got the Equip, I think it's labeled as the Equip Full Zip Hoodie. So it kind of okay. looks a little bit like this one, um, but it's a little more uh, lighter color, like a lighter gray. Okay. I had uh, gotten I think the... Um, I think Adrian's modeling it. In the, it's wearing it. In the picture. Yeah, I just yeah, gotten the, the so. zip up. There was, a, um, there was a dream blend, which is absolutely gorgeous. The material is so soft and amazing. They had a long time ago come out with it in black. It was a, um, a, a track pants, you know, like comfy, tra- you know, sweat that's pants. What, and I think that's what this one is called. Okay. The dream blend. The dream blend. I also got the, amazing. The, I also got the pants in this. Yeah. Really oh, it, it, nice, like breathable, stretchy. So cool. Good, good material. Feel the material. Yeah. <laughs> that and for me, actually, the Beyond Yoga um, material, I just love. I absolutely, mm. they just came out with it, like a blue one. I got that on sale as well. But no, I haven't. I, I haven't. I just, I mean, I mean, I have no space in my, I have no space in my closet anymore. I mean, I literally am going to have to, you know, turn things around because there's, there's no more space there, but there was another apparel to, drop and I'm going to have to sell yeah. a whole another lot of my Peloton because it's my drawer. I have to start, yeah. you know, taking out and, you know, putting it in my like backup drawer in the closet. 
Um, but a while back, I did sell like a whole lot of like ten or fifteen uh, shirts, did you and really? I, you know, I like sold them for I don't know for one hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, and, and it was somebody local in Michigan, so they just came and you know picked them up. Uh, That's but there's awesome. definitely a market, you know, on the Peloton yeah. buy sell um, boutique Facebook page. I mean, there's definitely yeah. a, a secondary market, so uh, people yeah. are always looking for swag. You know what? I, I mean, I go back. Yeah, I mean, I go back to um, to like my vintage stuff. I like wearing it. And when I wear it, people go, oh, where's that from? You know, like stuff that I like three, you know, three, four years ago. Um, I love mm. that stuff. So I don't want to give it up. Anyway, we'll see. Um, well, but I still yep, have my vintage tons. Dennis uh, hoodie that came out. Dennis had his own little limited um, release. Oh, seriously? His yeah. own limited. Yeah, it was a Dennis Morton line. And it was, it was like a beach vibe type because it was uh, – the hoodie was almost like this sort of terry cloth type. Oh, sort of okay. Like, um, ah. You know, almost like, um, what do you call those? Uh, I know what you mean, you know, yeah. Like hood. A t- um, God, I can't even remember what you used to call them. But, um, but I never wear it. Okay. And he had a Henley shirt. And I would wear that. And Jackie would always make fun of me saying I was wearing a V-neck. But it's a Henley. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had these, um, these sort of like long pant, uh, long short. Uh, these shorts that were kind of long and they were um, like a relaxed, like skater, you know, like beach shorts. Okay. Um, but I never wear them, but also I don't want to, you know, I don't want to sell them. I don't think I just. Yeah. You want to hang on vintage. to Vintage. Yeah. But that's right. It's the vintage stuff. It's the vintage <laughs> stuff. Well, yeah. And then um, next up is instructor in the news moving right along. Um, So first up, um, nine Peloton instructors were featured um, in today.com sharing their motivation. Nine? Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Couldn't I let that one skip straight by? (laughs) Um, But what they, yeah, what they were featured was with their um, quotes that have inspired them. Um, and if you've worked out with any of these instructors, then you have surely heard these. Um, like Tunde's, your mind is your strongest muscle. Um, Alex Toussaint's, less excuses, more adjustments. Dennis's, if you can't get out of it, get into it. Get into Adrian it. Adrian Williams, yeah. never give up because great things take time. Matt Wilpers, train smart, train hard, have fun. Um, Chelsea Jackson Roberts, drink is your paw. Sam Yo's, I am a disciple um, of a better me. Kendall's now quite famous um, motivational quote, which is they can knock you down, but they will, but never let them knock you out. And my all time favorite, um, interestingly enough, John, is motivational quote by um, Jess Sims, which is you don't have to, you get to. And um, Mm. in fact, I have a vintage bra top with that on it. When they used to make them with all the quotes, they used to have a lot of the apparel in the old days. Um, and I wear Jess's a lot. And in fact, I just posted on my social media. So I was excited when I saw that, um, you know, in the article as being one of them, um, because I love that. Because, yeah, we don't have to, we get to. Um, so the article go, does go on to um, share why those particular quotes um, are so inspirational for them. And, you know, feel free, folks, to head on to pelavadi.com and get to read the full article as each instructor does share the reasoning um, for um, utilizing those specific quotes. There's one Dennis quote. I haven't heard him say it in a long time, but I really love it. And it's haters are just confused fans. Oh, I like that too. You know, when yeah. someone criticizes yeah. something or yeah, super 100%. critical, like you could be of a mm-hmm. instructor. I, at that one, I always, I always think of that Dennis quote. I mean, he probably yeah. took it from somewhere, somewhere else. Yeah. But I always, that's always yeah. resonated with me. Um, well, we yeah. have another um, uh, an in style um, article about New Year's resolutions. Um, and it's got different uh, tips from various uh, Peloton instructors. Um, it's titled How to Actually Stick to Your Health and Fitness Resolutions According to Eight Peloton Trainers. Um, <laughs> and I'm not going to give you all eight. Uh, there's Marcel Dinkins, uh, Marcel Tread Coach, Hannah Corbin, Emma Lovewell, Rebecca Kennedy, Anna Greenberg, Ross Rayburn. Kristen Ferguson, Tread uh, Coach, and Andy Spear. Um, but the one that I decided just to, to pull and, and read was from Emma Lovewells. And um, she says, 
I use my calendar religiously. If it's not on my calendar, then I won't do it. I find it helpful to pick which class I want to take the day before and then schedule it on the Peloton app and it's in my calendar. It helps me keep on track to keep me on track and then I won't be slowed down by indecision when deciding which class to take. And that's kind of my, that's been my routine since they updated on the the mobile app on the, the website where you could sort the class schedule by all all mm-hmm. modalities because now I do that on, either on Chrome or on Safari on my iPhone and I select all the different, you know, if it's strength, if it's running, boot camp, um, I count myself in for all of them and then I go to the app and I see it all there on the my schedule tab and then, you know, I don't always get to do all of them. Stick it's more to kind of like them. a wish. Right. It's a wish list, <laughs> but at least it's... Um, I do the same. It kind of gives me a good... Schedule for how I, you know, I, I want my day to go. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, what, I kind of do know, that with my stacks can, as well. I can do. Yeah, I try and do that with my stacks, you know, to make sure that I kind of know what I, if there's nothing live that I want to do, then I'm, you know, kind of doing that. But it does frustrate me that you can't do that on the iOS app yet, that you can't search I know, it's got to be, I'm coming, sure it's right? going to. It's coming this year. It's got to be. Yeah. Because it's, it's just, it's, it's been on Android for, on the Android app for so long. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure that I can only imagine that it's coming, coming soon, but it's nice though. Soon. Once you do that, then you get the 10 minute, you know, reminder if you have your notifications yes. turned on for the app. So I get that little, you know, they get that little reminder pop up on my phone. But before that, I would just kind of like randomly look at the schedule and I'm sure I was missing a ton of different stuff, not just cycling. Yeah. Um, yeah. but other strength and, you know, and floor content. Well, and often some of them will do like a 10 minute arms right after a ride. So if you haven't, you know, looked yeah, at the schedule, you, you wouldn't, miss and then people that say, oh, why didn't you jump on the arms? And it's like, I didn't know they were having yeah. an arms. Yeah. I've so done it's, that. Very, it's very helpful. Um, no, I think the calendar, I think Emma's suggestion is, is fantastic. And I have to say, I do, you know, I do tend to try and do that as much as I can. I just get frustrated when I can't get through my whole stack, but sometimes I overachieve as well. You know, I'll put like 10 things on there and it's like, there's no way I'm going to get through, you know, everything. Oh, Something yeah. comes up and, you know, there's only so many hours a day I can work out. Uh, some other people are working out all day, but there's only so much that they can do. But I have yeah, incorporated I mean, a ton of yoga, um, which I'm um, loving, 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 loving. So I um, just started like back to basics, from the beginning and um, it's been good it's been really good so so that's been that's been fun um shape.com featured camilla ramon um and her blazing a path of body positivity specifically in the latinx community um so camilla shares her personal body image breakthrough and her hope in passing those lessons on to her Peloton members, to her followers. Um, and that was a really cool article. It was nice to see her being featured, um, certainly for the Latinx community. So that was really cool. Nice. Well, Kendall was interviewed recently for Shape magazine. Um, the title of the article is Peloton's Kendall Tool Will Completely Change the Way You Look at Online Haters. Uh, speaking of haters, confused fans. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> The article says the instructor opens up about the ripple effect of kindness and how she keeps a positive mindset despite feeling like a punching bag at times. Um, She said her openness on social media helped her create relationships with members from all over the world. But with that vulnerability, it's a double edged sword. You know, at times it also came, you know, with hate from randos on the Internet. And I I noticed. on a lot of, not not recently, but more like six months, a year ago, on a lot of the instructor uh, Insta Lives, nice. especially the female instructors like Jess Sims and Kendall, there'd just be all these like weird, like really inappropriate sexual comments about their bodies. Terrible. And it seems lately it's been, I don't know if it's an Instagram or whatever, but they seem to mostly be filtered out. Um, but on Kendall's especially, like people would just like make the most rude, inappropriate comments about her body. Um, and like one time, and she, you know, and she like addresses it head on. Like she won't just ignore it. Like, you know, when, and I even posted the story because I was really kind of proud of her. She, she, somebody commented on like the size of her breast and she said, yes, I know my breasts are small. I like them. Thank you. <laughs> um, and then God. she reposted that like video on her TikTok. So um, yeah, I mean, good for her. Uh, but yeah. it, uh, she was quoted as saying, 
Initially, it felt kind of like being bullied at the, on the schoolyard, she tells uh, Shape Magazine. Uh, when you're in the third grade, you're so innocent, you think everything is amazing, and then all of a sudden someone says something negative and it tears you down. Uh, the first time it feels like, oh, that hurt my heart, that feels like a sucker punch a little bit. Um, she wanted to say over the last two years, she's learned to soften the blow. Um, she's starting by having empathy for the folks critiquing her. Um, mm -hmm. As difficult as it may be when a nas nasty message might land in you know, her DMs, she refrains, um, she reframes the situation and thinks about what that sender must be going through to write, you know, such a harsh, you know, thing to her, to a stranger um, that doesn't even know her. Um, she said that if that day I'm somebody's trash receptacle or punching bag, I've been through tougher fights. I've been punched by much harder things and by much tougher people, she says. So if this is how somebody if this is how somebody is trying to find a way to deal with their pain, I don't necessarily condone it, but I can give them a little bit of grace for the fact that they're struggling. She's so so I mean, kudos for her for, for, for looking <laughs> yeah, at it that way. That way. Uh, because, yeah. and I know recently when she was uh, posting in her Insta stories a couple days ago, earlier in the week, about this interview, she had posted, I don't know if you saw it, but she posted a screenshot of a nasty message in her message requests and it simply said, your music is trash. And then she just, you know, she addressed it with that, that quote that I just read there um, with the exact same kind of message. Yeah, good for her. Yeah, I, I admire yeah. Kendall with, with that. You know, certainly with what she's been through um, as well, you know, that she's just, been, she's so vulnerable. Um, I, I admire her for just kind of, you know, being out there. It's got to be hard. I think, I think there's no question that as they become more and more popular, you know, there are just nasty people out there. So, you know, it's good yeah, that they're speaking definitely up. Definitely as you it's put yourself these... out there more. Yeah. Yeah. You're, sure, you're going to get sure. those types. Right. Right. I mean, it's just not everyone's going to live everything, we, you know, one says. And look, I think even we starting to experience that as, you know, as the show has gotten more popular and more people are watching it, we, we're not... You know, sometimes we say things inappropriately, which we shouldn't, and, and we absolutely should get called out on it if, if it's not appropriate. But not everything we're going to say is going to appeal to everybody. And that's unfortunately the way of the world. Um, and, you know, one has to sure. accept that, you know, we have an opinion and we're entitled to an opinion and we're sorry if we offend someone, as I'm sure they feel the same way. You know, they are entitled to their opinions, certainly about other things. Um, and, you know, they're there to amuse us. And if you don't like them, don't follow them or don't, you know, don't ride with them. If you don't like their music and their music is trash, then pick another instructor, you know, don't subject yourself to being with that instructor. So good for her for, um, for being out there and kind of acknowledge it and, and recognizing it. Um, yeah. Well, the, lo the lovely Bex Gentry, and she is so lovely. I think she is just uh, one of the, <laughs> the nicest humans. Um, she was actually fe featured on Hurdle Again um, on the podcast with Emily um, Abate. Um, in a segment entitled Turning the Page, Bex Gentry, uh, Bex Gentry on the roller coaster that was 2021. So Bex talks about her 2021 and her roller coaster year that she had. She shared her journey of returning home to race in the 2021 Olympic trials and just, you know, how trying it was, certainly at a time where, you know, that we're all going through with this, you know, unbelievable, unprecedented, you know, um, virus that just doesn't seem to be going away and, and her experience of going home and, and being in that, you know, um, uh, environment and, and training and then obviously not making it, etc. So, um, but she is just so lovely to listen to. Um, and it's definitely worth, it's worth the, the podcast listen for sure. So I would encourage you folks to head over and, and take a listen to that. Well, Tune Day, um, she was just on Good Morning America on Thursday morning, um, talking about how to find motivation to level up your workout. And I, um, I didn't catch it on TV, but I saw her, uh, it was maybe a three minute or so, three minutes and change segment um, that she posted on her Instagram. Um, and she took some pre-recorded questions from different fans, uh, I'm assuming Peloton members um, oh. in the segment. Um, and some of the things I, I made note of that she said uh, to get to find the motivation in your workout routine, in your workout day, uh, first thing, part of it is dressing up for the part. 
uh, putting on the clothes that match your workout routine to get you, you know, to get you excited about whatever, whatever your exercise, you know, workout you're going to do. Um, having an accountability, uh, accountability partner, um, someone, especially for days when you're lacking motivation. Um, she said, you know, to be their shining light or vice versa for them to, to motivate you on the days when you don't have the, the motivation. She said, find uh, workouts that are fun and will energize you. They don't always have to be, you know, the grueling, most um, challenging, advanced, you know, classes, you know, that we know are out there, you know, Tabata class, you know, something, you know, with a fun playlist or, you know, something low impact. Um, she also said to she talked about consistency, making a plan um, for your workout the night before, scheduling it out or, or planning it out for the week. Um, she said, make the plan, respect the plan. And then, um, she was going back and forth with Michael Strahan, um, you know, getting hyped up and she just said, you know, some good music will always get you hyped up and excited. Yes. Nice, I have to a say fun little, fun she, little segment. great interview, great interview. Yeah. And, and, you know, John, I, you know, I, I listened and I, there's no question that I, I agreed. And one of the things, I mean, today was a perfect example. You know, I get up in the morning and I'll put on my workout clothes and it matches and it's a nice set. Um, but I know that that is going to motivate me to work out. And, you know, as my day went today and with recording, I wasn't able to work out, but my workout stuff is on underneath here. And I know that I'm going to like, go and work out because it's, I'm motiv you know, I, I did it. That was kind of how I started my day. So listening to her say that kind of justified what I do and spending the money that I do on my workout clothes because I'm excited about putting on my workout outfit and I'm excited about, you know, ultimately getting on there. And, and yes, for me, I post a lot of my stuff on social media afterwards and I like doing that because again, it keeps me accountable. So um, I love that she, you know, that she said that, you know, about making it fun. And I do. I try and make those workouts as fun, you know, as fun as possible. I don't, never look at it as being a chore. I, I never. And three years ago, I would have. It would not have been something that I would be excited about wanting to do. And now it's like something that I'm like almost like frustrated when I don't get to do it. Um, and certainly being on vacation over Christmas was hard um, because I didn't have a bike. I didn't have a tread. I didn't love using the app. I must be honest with you. It was very yeah, frustrating. I, I think when you've been spoiled. I feel disconnected. Yeah. Very. It was like hard. We're going, I mean, I, you know, I did. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just not the same when you don't have that bike or the, the actual tread there. You don't have that. Um, I don't feel that full connection. We're going, 100% not. Jackie and I and Jackson, we're going to Mexico in late April to a new resort. And I was asking Jackie, I said, can you give me the, the number of contact? Because I was like, I want to see if they can get Peloton bike, because I'm sure they don't have Peloton bikes, but I actually want to see yeah. if they can get some. Because <laughs> I really, yeah. it's just, yeah, you can go in the fitness room, but then again, it's just being on the app, you know. It's not the same. You can, it's you can, just you not can, the you same. You still have the content. Yeah, you saw the content, yeah. but I lack I lack that connection, the full connection. Um, you know, it's just not, it's just different. It is different. And, you different. know, it's funny, John, because I think I mentioned this last year, but, you know, I always used to be someone that would say, no, you know, you have to have the bike because you need your resistance and you need your cadence and it's, it helps for your metrics. Um, and I always used to say, eh, you know, the tread, you can run on any tread until I had my tread, used my tread, and then didn't have my tread anymore. And it was mm. a big difference. It was, it was really frustrating. I hated not being able to see how hard I was pushing myself. You know, yeah, you can still do what they're telling you to do, but what motivates me um, and, and one of my big things that I'm focusing on this year is only about me. I don't care what anybody else is doing on the leaderboard. I really, really have moved away from that because it was actually debilitating me. And I decided that I needed yeah. to move beyond that. I needed it to be about me and how I was feeling in my workout and what I was doing. But again, you can only do that when you're on the hardware. If you're not on the bike or the tread, you don't get to see that. So, um, so anyway, it was interesting. Definitely um, an interesting tidbit to, to, um, to think about. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, to wrap wrap things up, um, it looks that it looks like the um, Irish Yank, um, our buddy Daniel McKenna, has gone ahead and joined the Pillow Pop family um, and introduced the world to Dougal, his very adorable new puppy. And I don't know if you've seen is it him. Dougal um, or Dougal? 
Dougal, probably Dougal, Dougal probably Dougal in, okay. with his Irish accent. It sounds so funny. Oh my God, Dougal. that dog is, that dog is the cutest frigging dog. Is it a, uh, <laughs> like what? Is I don't it know what it is. I was trying, pup or th- is that what it, it is? It like a Rottweiler puppy. I, I was trying to look up and see if he had said what it was and he didn't. I, I wanted to, before we got on air, I wanted to see if I knew what kind of dog it was. Um, so hopefully folks will, will know, but it is the cutest damn puppy that I have seen in a long time. And actually, my sister just got a puppy um, that looks very similar to it, but not nearly as cute. I'm not going to tell her that. This is <laughs> ugly. But, um, but this Aww. dog is so cute. <laughs> um, really cute. So it's sweet to see. And, and he's very proud of it. So, um, so that was kind of fun to see. And then, um, and then lastly, some birthdays. Birthdays. Um, yeah, yeah. So Callie Gallickson celebrated her birthday just this past Thursday. And um, Adrian Will- Williams celebrates his birthday today. So um, happy birthday to both of them. And hopefully they had fantastic birthdays. Happy and hopefully Adrian, I, I think he's on the schedule. He's got a Thunder 45, hopefully, a, a birthday Thunder 45, which I'm sure is going to be oh, grueling. Good. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Adorable Adrian. So, um, so yeah, John, so that pretty much wraps up the news. And finally, Amanda, one last bit of news that was just uh, announced on Thursday, uh, late afternoon, the London strength studio is going to be closed for the next three weeks, uh, beginning this Monday, um, January 10th. Um, they only added that they're working on some new, exciting things and to stay tuned for more. So I'm not sure what. What that means for London is, do you think it's yeah? I think well, Ben's boxing? the only one. Do you think one, they're recording I think for the Ben's guide the only device? one that does um, that does strength out of the UK. Well, Bradley and then from does the German, boxing. Yeah, the German instructor Marcel um, does, and Eric, of course, Eric. Yeah, but from the from the English English uh, material, it would be Ben, and then from the German stuff, it obviously would be Marcel and Eric. So, uh, yeah, mm. that'll be exciting to see what happens. So that's hot of the press stuff um, for those folks. We still will be getting a, a coach to camera on demand content. So it's not like um, the well is just going to run dry over the next three weeks from the, the London Strength Studio. But I guess no live, no live strength classes from Peloton Studios London um, for the next few weeks. Uh, but, yeah, Got maybe it. they're doing... Maybe they're prepping for a boxing launch or maybe recording some some content for the guide, the new strength device. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be interesting we'll to see. Exciting. Yay. Good. All right. So and I now, guess up next is picks of the week. I'll let you go first, my lady. No, you go. I'm having you go uh, first. Okay. Uh, so I, I kept it I kept it pretty pretty tight this week. So I'm going to uh, start with Cody's 30 minute top 50 ride of 2021. He covered uh, number 30 through 21 of the top 50 most loved songs, um, most loved songs that were played uh, on the Peloton platform in 21. Um, this one had, he had Usher, he had Foo Fighters. Like I said, he joked about never playing Foo Fighters. On his in any of his classes, Cardi B, Rob Bass, uh, Lil Nas X, uh, Robin, and of course um, he had, he had a Britney Spears track in there, uh, so very appropriate for Cody. But a super um, fun ride from Cody. That's from from Tuesday, December twenty eighth, and uh, one other ride pick, uh, Jen Sherman's thirty minute new tracks ride from Tuesday, January fourth. Um, this one had, I'm really into listening to Olivia Rodrigo lately, uh, probably because of Jackson, cause that's his favorite singer currently. Um, but she did play a track, uh, from John Mayer's new album, Sob Rock, um, Last Train Home, uh, but just a great 30 minute ride of new stuff from Jen Sherman. And then a 45 minute, uh, rounding out my picks of the week. 45-minute 2000s tread boot camp from Selena Samuela uh, from Monday, January 3rd. Um, probably one of the hardest boot camps, tread boot camps I've taken um, from Selena. Uh, I did PR on it, um, which I don't always 
even notice when I PR, but um, this one was a lot of sprints. I was completely gassed when we transitioned to the floor. So um, it's a pretty, pretty challenging one. So definitely do a warm up beforehand. Um, and the, the five minute tread boot camps uh, warm ups are great to do before the, um, the class. But if you can do a 10 minute one, this one was um, left me pretty exhausted. So that's, that's what I got. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I have a couple to throw out. So my top pick is Sam Yo's 20 minute New Year's Day recovery ride. Um, it was fantastic. Um, it was just, you know, a, a 20 minute, but I have to say Sam and, and recovery go well together. I just like, you know, I like the way he picks his music. Um, really, really enjoyed that one. So that was my, uh, that was my first pick. Um, on as far as rides go. Um, and then I'm actually going to switch straight to the tread. So on the tread, and unfortunately, as you know, as I've said throughout the show, and everybody knows, I don't have my tread. So I did go ahead and just take them out. I took them out to the, you know, to, to the street. Um, and I did, um, I did John Husking's 20 minute New Year party run. And it is a party. I can't wait to get my tread fixed so I can go back and do it. Um, but interestingly enough, I loved it so much, John, that I did it twice. I, re I was on, I did, like I did a six and a half you hour run. So I did it outside. And when I finished it the first time, I reloaded it and did it again um, because it was, it was absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. So highly encourage that one. Um, I also did Justin Thompson Rules 20. Oh, so, so John's New Year party run was actually from um, 1220, uh, 1230 at least, excuse me. Um, but then Justin Thompson Rule dropped a New Year's recovery run, um, which was also fantastic. And that was from New Year's Day. So um, January 1st, Justin Thompson Rule's 20-minute New Year recovery run. And those were, I will say, those were fun to just take outside. Um, they were easy. You know, you didn't mm. really have to worry about the, um, you know, the, the incline and that type of thing. Um, and then um, I found this, med you know, I always have to throw in my meditations. And I found this meditation, um, which I have to share um, in, in today's Picks of the Week. It was an oldie from Ross Rayburn from February the 19th, and it was a peace meditation. And just a lot's been going on um, personally, that, that nothing bad, but just it's been busy, you know, the beginning of a new year and got to send my kid, you know, my kid's going back to college and I'm, I'm just feeling, I start to get anxious and, and whatever. And this meditation has truly, truly changed my, changed my life. Um, but this one was a fantastic, just 20 minute and and I love listening to Ross and his voice but he tells a story at the beginning of this meditation um, and it just put things into perspective um, for me and the value of inner peace and just being accepting of ourselves and not having to as you said hear the outside noise you know just really being mm. in you know in about oneself. So for folks that, you know, are kind of venturing out into, into the meditation um, world, and so many folks have been, which has been lovely to see, very appreciative of me encouraging them to do meditation because they've also said that it's really made such a big difference, um, you know, to, to their lives. So, um, so yeah, that, that was fantastic and highly, highly recommended. And then from a strength perspective, Ben Aldis dropped two just quick 10-minute strength classes. One was the glutes and legs, um, and they were both dropped on Wednesday, um, the 3rd, the 3rd of January. One was the glutes and legs, one was an arms and shoulders, and I did both of them back to back. Um, and I have to say, I think in 10 minutes, you work harder, I think, than you do in a 20 minute, because I think in a 20 minute, they give you a little bit more time to recover. I woke yeah. up on Thursday morning, and my shoulders... And my legs were on fire. <laughs> I mean, I was like, and I, and I am, my goal is to do more strength this year because I really haven't been doing much of it. But um, I got to tell you, my legs were on fire. And then lastly, his 10 minute, because I did do it afterwards, but his 10 minute Taylor Swift um, red stretch. Um, I would definitely encourage folks, um, folks to, to do that. Um, so it, it, you know, it's just that, all, that one song, what remind me the name of the song? I, we mentioned it before. All the, too the well. Song. 
All too well, thank you. All too well. Um, just all too well. But, you know, I, I love the poses that he uses. Um, it just really worked my legs. And um, I encourage folks to to definitely add those 10-minute stretches in. I mean, the five-minute, you know, post-bike stretch stretches are fine. But I really think it's great to be able to get into something that's a little bit, you know, deeper. Um, and that stretch was fantastic. So, um, yeah, those are my... Well, I would um, be, I would be remiss... I would be remiss if I didn't mention, because you didn't include it, if I didn't mention Robin's 30-minute Taylor Swift ride. I, I think it's called Robin's 30-minute Taylor Swift Red yeah, Taylor's red version. Ride. Yeah. Um, and she played the 10-minute version of that re-recorded song all too well also. Yeah. And Ben's, um, my Peloton friend Nicole, who's in love with Ben, um, but also because of his music. And um, I agree with her that he does consistently play the best music. But his 30-minute, yes. I don't know what the actual title of the ride is, New Year's Celebration, I want to say. Yes, I did 30 it. Minute, his 30-minute, so it was the same as John, his New, Year's, his New Year's Day Party Ride. It was the New Year Party Ride. That's it. Oh, man, playlist. Such it's a good, I mean, he never... I got to hand it to Ben. He never disappoints on his playlist. Oh, disappoints. His music. Yeah. Um, and it was kind of cute because they both, him and John, you know, are good friends. And they, you know, John spoke about it in his run and Ben spoke about it in his ride, how they kind of fed off each other um, and how they yeah. were, you know, when they were planning on doing it, um, they were working on it. And I guess they filmed on the same day. So they were both in studio and John had actually sent me a picture of him and Ben in their 20. And he was like, don't share this with anybody, but in their 2022, <laughs> you know, t-shirts um, yeah. and, you know, excited about doing it. He was, they were so excited about doing it. So they were definitely <laughs> on fire recording for sure, um, which was great. I wonder if Leanne, when they're, when they're back at their flat, I wonder if she's like, how many times are you going to say you love this track banner? How many times are you going to call it a banger? <laughs> Cause when I, when Jackie and I, we did on Wednesday, we rode Robin Arzon's, um, she had like a 30 minute pop followed by a 20 minute nineties hip hop or, or hip hop. And then mm -hmm. while I was doing a 10 minute cool down, Jackie was doing a strength, uh, strength class with Ben and she kept commenting and crack. I heard her cracking up over the earbuds. Um, cause he kept ca calling the music a banger and he kept saying, I love this track. And she was, she was uh, so entertained by it and getting a kick out of it. So it was fun. Oh, that's too funny. Um, and she, yeah, she, never... she recognized, she could see how good the music he was playing was. Yeah, his music's insane. He de definitely, but you know, I think he DJed. I mean, you know, so he's got that yeah, background yeah. behind so he's him. All, I mean, he has yeah, that, he's really that he knows it. all about the music. So there's no question that he has that ability to, um, yeah, to, to offer that. So I guess, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Um, wow, it's so fun to be back, John. I, I must admit, the break <laughs> was nice. You know, I don't know if yeah. you guys appreciate a lot of work goes into putting these um, to putting these podcasts out for you guys. And I forgot how much work, how much work goes into it um, until this I was had our to do three it week again. our reset. What, what does Peloton call it? Our pause and reflect. Three week, right. It was, right, our, it was pause our pause and reflect. And reflect. Yeah. We, <laughs> we took a little longer. So for those of you that missed us, I, we apologize. But um, good. I hope, you know, again, I hope you guys enjoy it because we enjoy sharing all this information. You know, Chris Lewis does such an amazing job in gathering you know information throughout the week and we're just here to share it with you and make it fun and you know kind of give you the the bits and pieces and hear John and my perspective on it which is you know sometimes good and sometimes bad <laughs> um take it as you yeah, wish Chris, Chris is the pillow um, he's the pillow sleuth he finds out for sure for he sure. finds out we're all just, the info. we're just sharing it we're just yeah the messenger. we're just the messenger we're just giving it to you right exactly exactly, exactly. Um, but, um, we, we love doing it. So, um, it's fun and hopefully you guys enjoy it too. So, yeah. So I guess from me and, um, frosty Maryland and off to sunny, sunny Florida, I'm excited to be in, in the warmth. Um, bye for now, everybody. Yeah. And from me and freezing cold Michigan, uh, thank you for listening and watching us. And as always, we will see you on the leaderboard.
Thank you for watching Pelo Buddy TV, your source for everything Peloton, by the community, for the community. Work out with us using the Pelo Buddy TV leaderboard tag and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Pelo Buddy. Don't forget that we have a podcast available so that you can listen to us while on the move. Just search for Pelo Buddy TV on any major platform and hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode.